All right. That was a lot of spider web I just ate. <laughs> Guys, what's going on? Hey, today we are out at the Halpata Tastanaki Preserve. I probably butchered that, but today we're going to go out and try to find a plane crash site that is out here. Um, it's kind of hard to get to. Um, we're going to get on our mountain bikes and we're going to see if we can locate it, show it, share it, and get through some of this thick brush out here. I think it's pretty thick, but we'll check it out. You think we're gonna find it? Maybe. Maybe? We'll see. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's standing water everywhere, so it might be really thick and wet out there, but we'll see. What's that? I know, 71 years old and he's smoking us. I don't even know if you can see him up there. How far down do you think this road would be? I'm gonna check the map here in a second. Buddy was saying, how's he so much faster than this? He said he's 71 and he's smoking us. Some sort of little shit. Looks like an old hunt blind. See where we are? Are you sure? Yeah. There. No, look, we're, we're, we're right next to it. Yep. We are right next to it. Right cool. Let's okay. try to find a way. It's pretty thick. Yeah, let's try to find a way. Yeah, there's a little bit of a game trail here. Or it's just people other than us coming to look. Starting to clear up a little bit. All right. Let's recheck the map. All right. That was a lot of spider web I just ate. I got you under All right, we could not find our way to the wreckage in the last spot. Um, and we looked all over where those grid coordinates were. So I rechecked to now online and just got the NTH or NTSB government report on the accident and got the new grid coordinates based on that report. So we're hitting that now and seeing if we have any luck. Right. All right, I think we have found it. That was quite, that was quite the hike. It's way further back than we saw. If I eat one more goddamn spider web in Florida, I'm gonna lose my mind. It's right here. Dang. That's crazy. Somebody, somebody put a, somebody put a cross here. Yeah. So if you read the reports on this, the guy took off from an airport not too far from here. And it's just maybe a mile north. And he went off the radar. And it took six months to find this guy. The authorities said they had searched 40,000 acres and couldn't find him. And six months later, a hiker was out here and stumbled onto it and the body was still in the cockpit there. 
So you can see parts of the plane and debris are everywhere. Someone took that. Anything of value has probably been ripped up. What is this, Dad? It is a Becker VHF transceiver. Model 1 index. That is pretty interesting. Now look at the, uh, the landing gear. Wheel wells, whatever you want to call them. He must have hit like cockpit first on a tree or something. I think they said they found it. Oh, okay. So, so they flipped it over since then? Gotcha. And you can see like more parts and cushions strewn about. I mean, he he definitely had. If you look up, I mean, you don't stand much of a chance if you come through those trees with a plane. You have to come like covered around. the whole way around. I'm glad we didn't give up. Oh, you still. Just random parts everywhere. See him. <laughs> Wiring harnesses. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> well, either way, we found it. What a shame. <laughs> yep. Dad was saying it says experimental here because it was a home built aircraft. Cool. Just had to meet certain criteria. And then as long as you put that label on it, I guess he was still able to fly with it. What was the final result from the um, the accident investigation of why it occurred? Is it kind of unknown? Okay. Okay. That's what I was wondering. It looks like it. It's got little uh, fuel line outlet on the end. Yeah. yeah. You can see on the wing. The wings are both pushed back from the fuselage, and you can see as they like were striking trees as they came in. Well, as you can see, we found it. It's pretty cool. It's a good little hike in, hike out. A couple miles on the bike each way. Overall. It was a good ride and a good find. We'll catch you on the next one.